is up, guys? Today we're gonna be talking about Rembrandt. Yeah! Rembrandt was born in 1606 in Amsterdam, Holland. Rembrandt started learning how to paint when he was very young. At around the age of 13 or 14, he became an apprentice to a really great painter. So an apprentice is someone... Oops, wrong clip. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. An apprentice is basically a beginner at something. Someone who's learning from someone who knows a lot more than they do. So after learning quite a few painting skills, he decided to go out on his own. He even had his own art studio by the time he was 17. Once he reached his mid-twenties, he was a leading portrait painter. Throughout his lifetime, on average, he painted one portrait every two weeks. That's a lot of paintings. He also painted a lot of self-portraits. What that is, is when you pretty much paint yourself. Back then there was no photography, so it's all about looking in a mirror and drawing, or painting, whichever one you prefer. And then if you wanted your photo taken, you pretty much couldn't. Back then there was no cameras. There wasn't even an iPhone. You couldn't take a picture. You had to sit there and let an artist paint you. Talk about boring. So Rembrandt really liked staying home, hanging out with his family, and painting himself. That was a pretty cool gig. Problem is, it doesn't pay too much, so he needed money. So he basically became a teacher, up to 50 kids in a class at a time, and would teach them how to paint. He was super terrific at using light color paints and dark color paints, and making the darks make the lights really pop, and just give it really good three-dimensional, yeah, kind of like that. Like a really cool feel, if that makes sense. So after painting all these portraits for people and paying customers, he needed some time off. And what he really loved to do was paint himself and his wife and his dog. Something like this, him and his wife just having a good old time. So his greatest portrait might be of a meeting that was interrupted. It's this one. Look at the detail. So towards the end of Rembrandt's life, he started painting really crazy and fun stuff. While he was painting a portrait for a customer, his pet monkey passed away. The story is, he decided to paint his dead monkey into the family's portrait. The family didn't really like it, but Rembrandt didn't even care. All right, kids, my turn. Eyeballs. I didn't hear you, I said eyeballs. So Mr. Rodrigue talked about Rembrandt and all the self portraits he would do of himself. It was a picture of himself and that's what our project is today. So you've got your oval. We're gonna start with that and your pencil and we're gonna trace the oval. That's gonna be the start of your face. So put it on your paper and then just trace around it. Good, and that's all you need the oval for. The next thing you're gonna draw is your eyes and you're gonna look in your mirror and look at your eyes and you're gonna draw them about in the middle of the head. So we're gonna do something like that. Next thing you wanna draw is your nose and the bottom of your nose is about in the middle of the eyes to the chin. So there's the bottom of my nose and then I'm just gonna draw the rest up. There's my nose. <laughs> 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 Now the ears are what's next. You want to draw them about with the eyes on the top and the nose on the bottom. There's one ear. There's the other ear. Then the mouth, what kind of a mood are you in? You want to do a happy face? A bad face? I'm happy, so we're gonna do a happy face. Now is the fun part. Now is where you're gonna look in your mirror and you can do all the little details of your face. You can do some eyelashes. Uh, you can do dimples. Your bottom eyelids. You can draw in teeth. If you're smiling, if you're mad, no teeth. In Mr. Paprocki's case, you've gotta draw a few wrinkles. <laughs> now you can draw the neck. The neck is equal to the bottom of the ear. And then you can draw some shoulders. Now for Mr. Pap Rocky, we're going to draw a beard and mustache too. We're going to draw some eyes in. Now I know 
we're only using the pencils today, no colors. So you won't be able to like color in your eyes or, or lipstick or anything like that, but you can shade. Use like the side of your pencil to like do a little shading. Just to like give you a little, little color, a little this, a little that. Oh, I got just some hair on top. Uh, you can draw a hat. If you want a hat, put a hat on. We'll put a hat on me. And any other little details, you can look in your mirror and see on your face. Now, you're all done. Tell me, kids, does it look like me?